<sighs> Sounds. We live to make them. <laughs> and with the Lumitone, we have plenty of options on how to go about doing that. Let's take a look at a few. So today we're gonna to cover a couple basic questions I've been hearing a lot so far. What does the Lumitone sound like? The good news is, anything you want. Since it's a universal MIDI controller, you can control anything you desire. A virtual instrument on a computer, an analog synth, really anything that has a MIDI in. Everybody loves different sounds. And so I think one of the points of the Lumitone is to visualize any sound you want in stimulating and inspiring ways. So will it work in any digital audio workstation, also known as a DAW, or referred to as DAW, like Logic Pro, Cubase, FL Studio, Reaper, GarageBand, Studio One, Reason, Pro Tools, Digital Performer, Bitwig, Ableton? The answer to all of those and many more is yes. And although you don't need a computer to make sounds with the Lumitone, Many of you out there already use a DAW of some kind, so we'll start there. Since virtually all DAWs support MIDI, we're all in luck, no matter what software you use. If you're looking to access just the 12 tones of the chromatic scale, the Lumitone works right out of the box with any non-microtonal preset. Just plug it in your computer's USB port or MIDI interface, pull up any soft synth or virtual instrument, and have at it. Now, of course, one of the amazing things about the Lumitone is that it opens up the possibility of playing microtonal layouts. I'd first encourage you to watch my overview video if you haven't heard the word microtonal before. But to put it in a nutshell, it's basically playing the notes between the notes that we're accustomed to. Microtonal presets can give you access to 19, 31, 53, or even more notes in just one octave, and everything in between. So if you wanna play Lumitone's microtonal presets or make your own, the easiest way is to use a virtual instrument that supports microtonality. Luckily, more and more instruments seem to be supporting microtonality every day, or a week, maybe month, but a lot. You know, it really seems to be a golden age. One of the most popular ones, and in my opinion, for good reason, is Piano Tech. Piano Tech has plenty of microtuning options, including choosing your multiple tunings and temperaments directly in the interface. We go here to temperament, we can go to make equal temperament. Just go ahead and say divide the octave by 31. Hit OK. Once you've done that, you can choose a 31 tet mapping on your Lumitone. And just like that, we're in 31 Tet. Piano Tech has a lot of incredible pianos and they've grown to have organs and a lot of other great instruments as well. But if you wanna really explore a massive ecosystem of sounds and sonic palettes, you've got a beautiful option in Contact. Contact is an engine that a huge portion of the world's virtual instruments and sound libraries use. A lot of you probably already use it. And if you're using a Lumitone mapping that is designed sequentially, you can use the notes per octave option within contact. Say we wanna use a 22 tone equal temperament mapping. You can just punch it in here in contact scripting tab, pull up a mapping that uses 22 notes per octave.
22 map is up and running. Now, a lot of virtual instruments with microtuning abilities will be able to recognize tuning files such as Scala or .tune files. These are a great way to punch in already scripted mappings and there is no shortage of them floating around the internet. Lumitone will have a community section on their website very soon that will not only house Lumitone mapping files, but also tuning files that can help you quickly tell your virtual instrument how to use those mappings. One such instrument that makes great use of these tuning files is the fantastic virtual synth Surge. It's completely free, super powerful, and already comes with a big library of tuning files ready to use. And did I mention that it's completely free? So we won't be needing this. So right in Surge, they got the tuning editor that has the tuning library where you can pick from an array of different tuning files. Say we want to use the 24 tone default mapping that comes with the Loom Tone. Pick a 24 tet tuning file, drag it in. And now we have half sharps in our lives. So this is just an overview, but in the coming weeks, I will be making separate videos covering as many of these instruments as I can muster. In the first few, I'll cover piano tech and contact and search, but then I'll start taking requests. So leave yours in the comments. Now, like I said before, more and more virtual instruments are starting to support microtuning directly. But there's also software options out there that have the ability to globally tune multiple virtual instruments in your DAW using technology like MPE and pitch bend. A great one is MTS ESP by the company Odd Sound, who are actually affiliated with the brilliant mind that is Aphex Twin. They already have plenty of virtual instruments that support it like Surge, but also a growing number of other super popular slants like Arturia here. So however you tune the MTS ESP, all virtual instruments you pull up that support it will automatically be set to that tuning. So as we can see here, the Arteria synth has recognized the MTS ESP. Now we're only scratching the surface here. There are other super powerful pieces of software that'll help you play a variety of instruments microtonally. Some of them like HiPi's amazing UTE software or a new plugin called Infinitone integrate directly with Lumitone. And we will be covering them in detail in future videos as well. Now, of course, we don't have to rely on computers to make our sounds. Analog synths are a huge part of the sound creation universe. And yes, Lumitone can control real, physical, tactile, analog or digital synthesizers. This can be as easy as using the MIDI outputs on the Lumitone and plugging it directly into your favorite synth. Just like any DAW, this is plug and play with any synth if you're not looking to play microtonally. But if you do have a synth that's capable of microtuning, like a sequential synth from Dave Smith, you can use microtonal mappings on your Lumitone with the added bonus of making microtones with all those warm and gushy analog circuits. And what if you've got one of those beautiful Moogs or Korg synths, or a synth that doesn't have the ability to microtune? Well, don't fret just yet, because HiPi does make this thing called a microtonal tuning machine, which you can simply stick between your Lumitone and your synth, turning literally any synth into a microtonal one. We'll be doing a video on that soon as well. Obviously, there's a lot here to dive into. And I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but I am gonna break down all the different options in this overview with their own dedicated videos and much more in the coming weeks and months ahead. So go ahead and hit like and subscribe to be notified when those drop. And as always, thanks for watching.